Today I'm going to be taking a hands-on look at the Steam Deck OLED. We'll be going over the updates and changes from the Steam Deck LCD. I won't be getting too in-depth with technical specs, but we'll go through the list Valve has provided and highlight some new features of the OLED version that have stood out with my daily use. We'll be comparing the highest end version of each, a 512GB Steam Deck LCD, to the 1TB Steam Deck OLED. The first change you'll notice is the larger 7.4 inch OLED display. Not only does the bigger OLED panel have gorgeous visuals, it also draws less power, reducing the battery consumption. Besides the vivid colors and deep blacks, this display brings us a higher refresh rate, allowing for smoother graphics and higher frame rates when capable. The OLED display also has a much higher peak brightness, making it easier to see when using the deck outdoors or in bright environments. I've also noticed that colors and contrasting areas look less washed out at extreme viewing angles on the OLED display. Another notable change with the OLED model, Valve has increased the touchscreen polling rate, making the touchscreen feature more accurate and responsive. Admittedly, I'm not a big touchscreen user, so you may find this change more useful than I have. The Steam Deck OLED has an updated APU and faster RAM, making it more efficient with a very slight performance increase. While you probably won't notice any drastic change in gameplay, these upgrades really help reduce the overall power consumption. We also get an updated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module, adding support for Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. In addition, they've added a dedicated Bluetooth antenna for better performance with wireless devices. Something I'm excited about is the added capability to wake the Steam Deck using Bluetooth controllers, improving its convenience if you're using the Steam Deck as a docked gaming console. Valve says they've improved the bass response, but as far as audio goes, I didn't notice a difference with the Steam Deck OLED until I tried a direct comparison. When playing the devices side by side, you can hear some subtle changes that may or may not affect your listening experience. The Covenant believe that what they call the silent cartographer is somewhere under this island. The cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. Besides the occasional software issue, I've always been happily impressed with my Steam Deck's audio on both the LCD and OLED versions. The thumbstick top material has been changed in an effort to increase grip and reduce dust buildup. The feeling did take some getting used to when switching from the LCD Steam Deck, however I did end up preferring the shape and feel after about a day of use. They've also adjusted the toggle stick post material to apparently improve interaction feel with the front cover and reduce wear. However, the only difference I noticed besides the color change is that the toggle sticks on the OLED version make a faint popping noise when moving from the center. Although I'm not entirely sure if that's related to this change. Speaking of color change, all the button labels have changed from white to gray, and the power button has been changed from black to orange. The shoulder buttons and D-pad apparently improved responsiveness along with the redesigned trackpads with impressive changes to the haptics. Using the trackpads on the Steam Deck OLED feels completely different than the LCD version. Steam Deck OLED has an increased battery capacity, as well as an improved battery chemistry. This gives us longer battery life and faster charging. They've changed the charging indicator to a WRGB LED, so it's able to change color depending on the device's charging situation, as well as communicate certain boot messages. The OLED Steam Deck comes with a longer charging cable, increasing the length from 1.5 meters to 2.5 meters, and they've added logos to the power supply. Valve's testing claims to have increased the battery life of the Steam Deck OLED by up to 50% in some cases. And so far, it seems to live up to their claims. I've been very impressed by how much longer it can play even the most demanding games because of the increased efficiency of the hardware along with the larger battery. With a reduced weight of 640 grams down from 669 grams, the Steam Deck OLED feels about the same as the LCD version, although any reduction weight of a handheld device like this is beneficial. Valve has upgraded many aspects of the Steam Deck OLED's assembly to make DIY projects easier and safer for the device. The new OLED carrying case is a two-piece hard shell case that looks just like the original one at first glance. The new case is only slightly thicker than the original carrying case and can be held shut using the velcro flap on the outer shell and or the zipper on the inner liner. The accompanying microfiber cloth has been changed from black to white and there is no longer a lift strap for removing the deck from the case. The inner case is retained in the outer shell using velcro on the long edges and the middle fold. When removed, the inner case takes up very little space, allowing for storage or transport in a compact travel kit. 
biggest and most valuable changes for me have been the huge increase in battery life, stunning visuals from the bigger OLED display, and the new trackpads coupled with the improved haptics. The improved battery life has made it less of a trade-off to play some of the more graphically intense games on the deck even when I'm away from a power source. The increase in screen size is immediately noticeable and the picture quality of the OLED display makes playing games or watching videos on the deck look incredible. The new trackpads are great and the haptics give you immediate tactile feedback. Using them to control the cursor feels a lot more fluid and intuitive. Overall, these changes have made the Steam Deck OLED an even more attractive option for playing games on the go. The LCD version of the Steam Deck is still great value and very capable device. When considering either upgrading to an OLED model or purchasing a Steam Deck for the first time, it will be up to you to decide whether these updates are worth your money. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.